guys welcome back to my channel I am alive I am not well though I'm still sick I've been sick for like three weeks I'm really over it but what are you gonna do you're gonna go to the doctor no you're not cuz I feel like my time to go to the doctor has passed like it's been weeks now so like I just now I just have to grin and bear it you know what I'm saying so um, I didn't want to do a video that was too heavy today, but I did really want to film for you guys. So I decided I would do my favorites video because I haven't done one in a couple of months and I actually really enjoy filming these. So let's jump right into it because these tend to be wicked long. <laughs> so I'm going to try not to make it too long, but, um, let's see. Oh, have you guys noticed that I have been more productive lately? Uh, yeah, that's right. I've been posting more videos and, um, part of that is because I have been using my planner more. And I'm typically a really organized and like person who likes lists and all that kind of stuff. So um, I got kind of thrown off my game with the project and with all of my traveling that I've been doing. But um, I'm back home for now and I've been using my planner and I've also been using something to help organize my emails because since I've worked from home, uh, the mass majority of my communication is done through email. Occasionally it's a phone call, but it's mostly through email. And a lot I have a lot of important emails, and I tend to miss them. I don't have an assistant or anything. Um, so it's just me, just kind of trucking through. And I have a ton of email accounts, which really doesn't help anything. But I decided to try something out called Unroll Me. And, or unrolled at me. I'm not sure how to say it exactly. <laughs> but um, I decided to try it out and I've been using it and I've noticed that it has actually helped with my productivity. And I was a little skeptical at first to be honest with you. But um, basically you uh, can download the app and I'll put like a link down below. But you can download the app and then it's essentially like Tinder for your emails. So you can decide to like you put your email address in and it'll tell you how many subscribed like emails you have. So how many places you're subscribed to that you get regular emails from. And mine, it's not even my junk email and I've subscribed to like 160 or 170 emails and I'm like, good God. This is why I'm so bogged down by emails all the time. And anyway, so you go in and then it'll show you one by one and you'll decide like, okay, I want to unsubscribe from that or I want to keep that, you know, and keeping it means that you'll still continue to get the regular email or you want to add it to your roll up. So then you would like flick it up and then everything that you flicked up. So I flicked up like 20 uh, different emails, or whatever from, you know, different places. So now I get one daily roll up email and it contains all of those in it instead of getting them one at a time all throughout the day, which really causes me to have my phone on me all the time. Like I could care less about a text message or Instagram comments or Facebook this and that. Like I could care less about any of those. I could not care less about any of those notifications, but my emails, I'm on it. If I feel an email, like if I feel the email, you know, you 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 know your your vibrations in your phone. So if I feel an email, I automatically have to pick up my phone and look at it, and it really gets in the way of my day to day life. And so um, I've been using that, and I really like it. It's really easy, helps me be a lot more organized. And if you guys want to try Unrolled at Me out for yourselves, you can click the link down below. Okay, so I thought I would mention this body time bubble bath. I like taking bubble baths. It's really my thing. I love my tub at this house. It's amazing. So um, my friend Sarah sent this for me, or sent this to me, and she sent me this one and a grapefruit one. And like there's, it's, a, it's kind of a small bottle, right? It's not tiny, it's eight ounces, but all you need is a cap full, for real. And you will have a ton of bubbles, but I just, I'm, I'm really in love with it. I've been using the other one a lot too. So it's for all skin types. But I'm a huge fan of citrus, citrus scented bubble baths and like bath bombs and that kind of stuff. So I just thought I would mention this. It's by Body Time, which I know she's in California. So I believe for sure you can get it out there, but I'm sure you can find it online or something somewhere too. But the lemon scent in particular, I can dig it. Oh, and another thing, real quick little update. I know you guys love my, uh, <laughs> my, my video I did recently about my first time getting a wax. And I recently went back to the European Wax Center and I got another wax and then I got my underarms waxed. And that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, but I mentioned in that video these products and I didn't show them to you guys, but I wanted to tell you about them because I actually am a big fan. So the one that I use every day, I keep this in my shower. Where is it at? It's this one. It's called the Slow It Down Body Wash less ouchy, more comfy. It's an exfoliating body wash that I use on any area of which I shave or have waxed. So it helps prevent ingrown hairs. Basically, that's pretty much what it does. And then I have a Slow It Body Lotion, hair minimizing treatment. 
So this I just use, again, on any area that grows hair that I don't want it to grow hair. <laughs> and then I have the um, Ingrown Hair Serum. This, I believe, is really working or, I don't know, maybe I'm just super lucky and I'm not getting any ingrown hairs anywhere, but it's been life-saving. And I use them pretty regularly. I use all of them at least once a day. And the serum, sometimes I use it twice a day in the morning and at night. And then I wanted to mention, um, oh, I wanted to mention some skincare stuff. I'm actually gonna mention three because I ran out of all three of them this month and I'm so sad. So I ran out of my Take a Deep Breath by Philosophy. This is a, um, this is basically like a, it's just a moisturizer and energizing oxygen gel cream moisturizer. I've mentioned it before, but now it's completely empty. Um, I just ran out of that like on last week and I was so sad. And then the Origins Original Skin Renewal Serum, which I've mentioned before, and then the Vichy uh, Idelia Life Serum. Again, these are all just facial serums, but I love all three of them so much. And now that I have run out of all three of them, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna repurchase, but I think it's either gonna be the Vichy one or the Take a Deep Breath by Philosophy. It might be both of them. Honestly, it's nice to just switch up your skincare sometimes. Like, I don't want my skin getting too used to anything. And it doesn't react badly to any of these products. So, I'm just, I was a big fan of all three. Honestly, that's why I use them all. So, um, I'm just, I'm super sad that they all ran out, like, at the exact same time. That's bad timing. Okay, that's just bad timing. And then, I wanted to mention my perfume. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I obviously have been loving it because I did not even buy it that long ago. It's just Chanel number no. 5, which I'm sure you're familiar with. It smells like, like, I need to smell like Chanel number no. 5 when I'm like 65 because this smells very mature. And I'm not even hating, obviously, because I wear it every day. It smells like baby powder, and I just love it. It's so fresh, so fresh, and so clean, clean. I am obsessed with it. Um, I am gonna try the other one, though, Chanel. Is it called Chance? The pink bottle? I don't know, if you guys have any perfume recommendations, hit me with it. <clears throat> I don't like anything too musky. Um, but this one just smells so good. Like, it smells super mature, but I'm totally okay with it. I'm not as scared about my age. I'm good. Ooh, you guys, I'm turning 27 this month. Hey, what's up, all my Scorpios? Where you at? I haven't been buying a lot of makeup lately, uh, just because I've been out and about a lot, and you know, sometimes I'm just not feeling it. Right now, I'm not buying anything but groceries, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't feel like it. But the two colors that I have been living for right now, uh, the last couple of months have been Vintage Rose. This is from Gerard Cosmetics, and I'm actually, I'm wearing this today. Hey, go me, look at me, all pulled together. And then Fire Engine. I also love the color Cherry Cordial, but I can't find it, so. And actually, let me just swatch these uh, Hydra Matte lip glosses for you guys, too. This is the color Invasion. I love these things, like, they, I mean, the colors are just so beautiful, especially for the fall. It's just amazing. And then Immortal. So I will uh, show you all of the swatches in a second. And then my absolute favorite color, period, end of story, we're done, is Ecstasy. This is such a pretty color. So left to right, um, this is Vintage Rose, the lipstick. This is Fire Engine, the lipstick. This is Invasion, which is the Hydra Matte Lip Gloss. This is, I forgot what this is called already. Something, some red color. Hold on, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. This is called Immortal. And then the last one is called Ecstasy. Is it dripping? No, it's not dripping, okay. Um, but these are all by Gerard Cosmetics. I don't, don't worry guys, like, you know, they're not forcing me to say that they're products are great but their products are great so whatever I love them personally I'm a big 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 fan I'm also obsessed with this color changing nail polish that I have I wish I had something cold so I could show you because it changes purple and pink and my kids like they have a really great time uh, rubbing ice cubes on mommy's fingers all night so anyway the last makeup product I have is by Clinique and it's the pretty easy liquid eyelining pen I believe I mentioned this in a video a couple of weeks ago, but I suck at doing eyeliner, which is fine, ain't no shame. I got no shame, no shame. So the cool thing about this though is that it's just, it's so easy to use. It's, I mean, the light, you can see, you can definitely change the thickness of the line. It stays, I mean, it, you know, by the end of the night, it's kind of worn off a little bit, but for the most part, it stays, it's so easy to use. It doesn't get dry, like, it, it's just amazing. I'm just, I'm really in love with it. I can definitely see myself repurchasing it. 
Um, actually, I didn't purchase it the first time he sent it to me. So I could definitely see myself purchasing it for the first time. Um, but I'm just, I'm really obsessed with it. It's so easy to use. And for someone who seriously just sucks at doing eyeliner, it's just made my life so much easier. And lately, I haven't been doing lashes or eyeshadow. I'm sure you can tell, like, I've really, really stripped down with my hair and makeup lately. And it's just because I feel like I don't have time. Sometimes I like to do it up big, but not every day, guys. Like, not every day. I can't be about that life. I want my babies to look good, and it's either like the babies get to look good or mommy gets to look good. So the babies get to look good right now. You should see them. They go to school styling and profiling. I love it. But um, the last thing I wanted to mention are two YouTubers that I have been watching, and they're both amazing. So the first one is Miss Liz Hart. I believe that's her name on YouTube and I just, I don't know, I discovered her like a month ago and I cannot stop watching her videos. And even today, um, I was like, did she upload her new video yesterday? And I went and she didn't have it up yet and I was like, bro, I'm sad. Like this, this, my whole day is gone. I'm just, I'm ruined. I'm so sad. So she has really stylized, pretty videos, but she's still like relatable and I just, I love her. I love everything about her. I love the quality of the videos. Like, man, I'm like, dang, I gotta buy a new camera because this girl is on. Like, I need this. And I love the way she styles her home, all of that stuff. And my bookcase back here is everything's gonna get redone because Halloween is over, guys. But I just, I love, love, love her videos. So I'll link her channel down below. And then the other one that I just recently started watching is A-dubs. Like, okay, I haven't watched her for very long, but I caught up on like her Tinder dates and stuff. And I ship Sam because Sam is the man. He is so cute. And I like Uber Josh too. I think that's his name, right? I think it's Josh. But I, I, he's cool too. But if you had to choose between one, I ship Sam. So she's just really funny. Her video ideas, they're they're just great. I mean, they're original as far as what I, what I typically watch. Like it's completely different. So um, I'm a big fan of her as well. So I will link her channel down below and let me know who you have been watching because I'm always down to watch some new YouTubers and stuff. Thanks for the love on my last few videos. You guys have been awesome. And my project will be announced soon. Get hyped. I'm super hyped. I'm super duper hyped. But that's all I have to say for now. Um, like I said, I'll link everything down below. Uh, check out Unroll Me if you need to get a little bit more organized in your email inbox and all that. And that's all I have. Thank you guys for being patient while I've been sick and dying over here. And okay, now that's it. <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!